Welcome everybody. In version 6 of our Songs and Rhymes project, we're going to learn how to make it graphical. Um, so we're going to create a screen and then add an image to, of a picture of a birthday cake to our song. If you haven't, if you closed off your previous version, you might want to go ahead and open up version 5 and then let's get started. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is change our file name to version 6 and then in our concepts list here we're going to add graphics and then um, so the first thing we're going to need to do is make the variables for the window so we're going to go ahead and create a comment that says create global variables and then we're going to create one for the width of our window we'll say it's going to be 400 wide and we'll create one for the height that's 600 in height that way we have enough height so that if we when we want to sing more than one verse we can um, each verse will print to our window alright so the next thing we need to do is actually create the window so we'll put in a little comment that says creates graphical window and then we'll create a variable to hold it so we'll just say win is equal to graph win and you might remember using that method from the Myro library in your Python face project and we'll name it the top bar happy birthday so that name is going to appear in the title bar and then we'll pass in our width and height variables so then we'll need to on the win variable we'll need to call the set background method and we're going to need to pass in um, we want to use RGB values so we'll call the color method in Python and then we'll pass in these three numbers that will create the color. Now since it's red, green, and blue you can see that most of the color is in the red area of it. Alright, so now we've got our graphical window and then we are going to need to um, put a title inside the window so people know what's going on. So we'll create another comment here. It says draws the song title to our window. And so we'll create a variable to hold the title. So we'll say HB title for happy birthday title. And then we'll call the text method. And in order to create text, we'll need to call point method and then we're going to say we want to center our title so we'll say width divided by 2 for the x coordinate and we'll put it 30 pixels down on the y coordinate and then we're going to pass in our message so the title of our song is happy birthday song and we'll close it off with a parentheses alright so then what we need to do is we'll need to set the color of the outline and the color yeah, which would be the color of the text so we'll type in HB title dot set outline so we're calling the set outline method on the object HB title and we'll pass in the color of zero 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 which makes it um, black and then we'll pass in on the t object HB title. We'll call the draw method and we'll pass in our window variable. So that should actually draw a window. So we can go ahead, let's go ahead and test this. And so let's, we're not completely done yet but let's go ahead and test it in pieces. So we'll minimize this 
and we'll go file new window and we'll paste it in and we'll go ahead and run it and it'll ask us to save it and we'll navigate to where we've been saving our files I'm going to name it Happy Birthday 6 and hit Save. And you can see now that it brings up a graphics window with the Happy Birthday title. And the prompt down below here is asking me to enter a name. So I'm just going to do one name for now to let it play through. And so it looks like we still have an error. Um, we'll try to go back and fix that in a minute but you notice that it's not printing to the screen yet because we haven't drawn any of the text to the screen so I'm gonna go ahead and delete this and it doesn't like the word the variable person alright so we'll minimize this and go back to our notepad oh, we have the same mistake here so we go back and change this to person in our sing method like we did before and I'm going to go ahead and save it so I don't forget that the next time so let me go back to person here and change it in here alright so we've got our graphical window and now what we need to do is add a picture so what I've done already is I've downloaded um, a picture of a little birthday cake that you can get off of YouTube and it's about 150 pixels by 150 pixels and I've saved it in the same folder that um, I have my project in so I will show you what to do here we're gonna right click on the start button and I'll bring up the explore window move it in here so you can see it and if I scroll down to my folders in computer science, in songs and rhymes, um, I'm putting all of my files in this folder called Happy Birthday Podcast Example. But I'm going to need to take a picture of my cake that I had in my previous version here, and I need to save it to the folder that all of these files are in and I just got this image of a cake off the internet by searching in Google or something like that and notice it's about 270 pixels wide by 187 tall you don't want a very large picture because then it won't show up in your window because we made our window 400 wide by 600 tall we also have to leave some room in our window for the text that we're going to print out so once you have your picture saved inside the same folder that you've been writing your different versions of happy birthday we can go and close that off and we can now um, use some functions in Python to make this picture show up in our graphical window. So we're going to add a comment that says load a cake image. To our window. And then what we're going to do is we're going to uh, make a variable called picture and we're going to set it equal to the method make picture and we'll pass in the name of our picture make sure you include the file extension and that it matches with the file extension of your picture we'll then need to turn it into a pixmap so we'll make a variable called pixmap which basically takes our picture and turns it into a map of pixels and we'll call the function make pics map and pass in our picture variable that we created in the line above so then we want to make sure that our picture is centered in our graphical window so we'll create a variable called C point for center point and then we'll actually call the point function of the Myro library and to put it in the center we'll do width divided by 2 
and we'll put it about 150 pixels down so that it's below the title. So now we'll create a variable to hold our image and we'll set it equal by calling the image function in the Myro library and then we'll pass in C point for our center point and we'll pass in PixMap. And then finally we'll draw the image. So we'll call the object image and we'll call the draw method on it and we'll pass in our wind variable. Alright, so now let's test this part out. So we'll go ahead and copy it all. And I'm just going to copy this, the new method that I made. And I'm going to paste that into my window where it belongs. And I'm going to go ahead and hit, hit run. And you can see that my picture of happy birthday actually um, appears in my window. And then I'm going to just do a blank and not enter a name so that I'm back at my command prompt. So we'll close that off and we'll continue with our development process. All right. So then the last part we need to do is change the text of our happy birthday file and make it draw to the window. So let's check through each line of our methods to see if there's any text that appears. All right, so in get names, we've created a list, an empty list called names, and then we're asking the user to enter a name. Now this just enters in the command prompt, so we only want our happy birthday to appear on the screen, so we don't need to add anything there. And so let's scroll down to the next method. All right, so happy birth, when we call the happy method, the happy birthday to you does need to appear on the screen. So we're going to need to um, add that to the screen. Give me one second. I think we're going to do that in the next version. In version 6, what do I have left? Um, oh, we were just going to put this screen, um, this line down here and make it print to the screen. So um, the first thing that we're going to need to do then is we'll need to create a variable so that we can make each line that prints out go down one line on the screen. So we're going to create a variable called vSpace and we're going to set it equal to zero. So when we get to this line, it's equal to zero. And then when for every person we want it to speak, I'm now going to sing to this person, but we also want it to print to the screen. So we're going to create a variable called my message. And we're going to set it equal and call the text method. And then we want to call points so that we know where, where our text is going to start and we want it to be the width divided by 2 so it's centered on our screen and then we're going to start 260 pixels down and then from the top of the screen so that we don't write on the picture and then each time it runs through data for each name that we enter we want it to go down a number of whatever vSpace is and then we're going to type in the message that we have below that it's going to speak at the same time so we're going to type in I'm now going to sing to whatever that person's name is that's in our list we'll concatenate that with a period and then in order to put it on the screen we'll need to call the draw method and pass in our win variable And then let's go back here and see if there's anything else we need to add. Okay, so the only thing we need to add is that each time that uh, a new verse is sung, we need to add vSpace. So we're going to use an accumulator. And so we'll say vSpace 
is equal to v space plus 20. All right, so what's happening here is that the first time through data, it's going to pick one name from our list up here, which is called names, because we've called the get names and we've passed all the names into data. So we're going to go through the, every name in data and we're going to pass the first name into person. So when that happens, it's going to print out this message in the middle of my screen. I'm now going to sing to that person and then it's also going to speak it and then when it goes to sing it's going to go through and use that person and sing happy birthday to them so it'll say happy birthday to you and the next line happy birthday to you and the next line will pass in the person's name like Kate and then it'll sing happy birthday to you and then what's going to happen is that it's going to the first time through vspace was zero so now it's going to be zero is equal to 0 plus 20. So it's going to go down 20 lines. So now vSpace here is 20. And the next name it pulls out, it's going to print, I'm now going to sing to that person's name. But now vSpace is 20. So it's 20 is equal to 20 plus 20. And the next third time through vSpace will be 40. So each time we pull out a name from our list, it will be 20 spaces down. So let's go ahead and test this. So I'm going to hit run and run module and click OK. And it brings up my screen here and notice down here it says enter a name. So I'm going to enter two names so you can see what's going to happen. And then the computer will speak through it. You may not hear it but you'll see it print out to the screen. And so you can see that it printed out only the line I'm now going to sing to and the person's name that we entered. And so in the next version, what we're going to do is we're going to adjust this a little bit so that it doesn't print out these two lines, but it prints out our actual v lines of the song. And then we'll allow for uh, it to print out multiple verses so that if we enter two or three names, it will print three names. I mean, it will print three verses of Happy Birthday to our graphical window. Alright, so I'll see you next time. Bye.